COVID really sucks. I think we all need to take a break. Let's fly to the Seychelles and relax together. This is just so fantastic. Good morning from Seychelles. What did you guys do last year when there's no tourists here? Well, we became the tourists. Very, very small terminal. It's the island style. They gave me the headset during the whole flight and listen in. They knew I'm a student PPR. Turn out has got our Pali, our throttles are here. I'm on a day trip here to Pralin. It's so quiet here. You can listen to the birds. <laughs> beautiful, sexy lady. This is exactly what I saw on postcard. Found this spot here on the hill. But well, this airport was not here. I'm only staying here one night. Now I'm hating myself. Why don't I stay longer? Little private beach. Nobody's around and it feels like out of the world. Good morning from Seychelles. Good morning. Ready for my big day today, going to Pralin, another island, flying to another. Well, I'm happy to welcome everybody back into the Seychelles uh, since the opening uh, in, from two weeks ago. It's been uh, really exciting to see everybody coming back. What did you guys do last year when there's no tourists here? Well, we became the tourists. We started visiting the ah. other islands because there's uh, Seychelles has 115 islands. Thank you very much. Welcome. Bye bye. It's very, very small terminal. It's the island style. Hello everybody, bonjour. Uh, my name is uh, Michael Afif. I'll be the captain for this flight. Uh, to my right will be first officer Anthony Payet. Uh, we're gonna take you to Pralin today. Um, it's a short 15 minute flight. We're gonna try and get you the best views we can. We're gonna go through for runway 33. So the twin order, I, as far as I know, is a stow airplane, short takeoff yeah. landing. Yeah. We have maximum weight, we have 12,500 pounds. Yeah. We expect a temperature of 35 degrees.
Oof, so hot, like yeah, a sauna so inside hot. and uh, a bit of cold air coming, right? <laughs> yeah, but that scenery, the scenery yeah, was yeah, like amazing. Uh, the Twin Otter is quite unique compared to other aircrafts, which would traditionally have their throttles way down here. I mean, uh, the Twin Otter has got our power lever, our throttles are here. Um, our prop lever is here, which basically just adjusts the angle of the propeller uh, throughout the flight, depending on what phase and uh, what conditions we want. And uh, these are the fuel levers, and uh, during start, you would just advance them forward and back, and this would be the shot off position. Yeah. And the flaps is up here power. as well. The flaps here, um, yeah, we've got 10, 20, and 37. Thank you guys, see you on the Thank way you. back later. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm the last passenger out. I'm on a day trip here to Pralin, because they told me this is one of very beautiful island. And let's explore. that so Here, green is touch you just clean the road and wherever you see on the side on the, on the trees the plants you cannot touch oh it's so quiet here you can listen to the birds it's just untouched scenery raw scenery inside the park here Heaviest and largest nut of the world. Oh, this yeah. is the Coco de Mer. Coco de Mer. Wow. All right. What an interesting shape. Yeah. Like. <laughs> like a beautiful, sexy lady. <laughs> <laughs> I won't say anything more. <laughs> This is amazing. This is exactly what I saw on postcards and I dream about coming here on a day like this. This is one of the most beautiful beach, the uh, Anse Lazio. I can see why, because the water just super clean and sand super, super nice and white and soft. Same pilots flying me back. Uh, yeah, oh. back hey, how many sectors you're doing all, uh, every day? Uh, we average about eight sectors per day. Ah, um, lots of flying. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we should do more pre-COVID around 14. Okay, uh, we taking off today with uh, 18 tax, I think it was. Yeah. So we at max take off with 12,500 pounds. Uh, we'll be climbing a cruise altitude of 2,500 feet. Uh, flight time will be approximately 15 minutes. Free weather for departure. However, there was a bit light, light rain on my head. Uh, we'll see what the tower says. Hopefully, we can do a nice approach into the harbor to Seychelles. Uh, it's already on maximum takeoff way. The baggage have to leave behind. This man here got two heavy bags. You gotta wait another hour. The next flight will bring your bags.
It was a great pleasure having you on board and uh, to experience this with you. It was a pleasure for us. I mean, I'm a huge fan as well. Oh, thanks um, so much. Yeah, uh, it's an experience for me, actually. Yeah, and we hope to welcome you back to Seychelles again one day. After the flight, I met up with a friend. We drove around the whole island. Let's go. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Oh, this is your beautiful car. Wow. Now. Look at this car. Wow. 1963, a guy called Bruce Myers from California. He's a boat builder and surfer designed a bodywork to fit on a VW Beetle and hence the beach wagon. Where do you want to put it? Wow. This is a topless car now. Look at this. All right, let's go. Okay. This is the best way to see Seychelles, I bet. So you've been an aircraft man. Um, 1974, I worked for Courtline, which unfortunately went bust. They're the guys with the... They have the L1011. They and were the Back 111. Yeah, and they were the first company that done pastel colours. Pinks, yellows. Then I went to Monarch, Monarch Airlines. So I was there for three years. And then I spent 30 years with Britannia Airways, which came Thompson Airways, which is now TUI UK. Now I'm 66 years old. Oh, so you are very fit. So you are very fit because you live in Seychelles, stress-free. Correct. We're in a traffic jam in Victoria, which is the capital. Um, it's a small little capital, but it's... I like it because it isn't big, grand American-style buildings. I felt like there was very colonial-style building. Victorian building, right? Yeah, tell us about this. That was Little Ben. A Little Ben. Little replica of Big Ben. From yeah, that's tiny, little Ben. So after some climb and some drive, we found this spot here on the hill. And you can look at the whole runway down there and the apron. So this is one more exciting for me than sitting around the pool and beach. The traffic is a little slow, uh, but it's beautiful. The setting is amazing. So there's quality spotting here. So we were at spotting here and yeah. there's a man stopped by so he knows me. Yeah, I because I follow you though, I like it. Really? Planes. Yeah. So yeah, he's looking at this, I said, this guy's Sam Chu, I've just gotta ask him, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah okay. now I'm gonna come to your house. It's really steep this hill, yeah. but you can see the whole I'm airport. There, oh, nice. Yeah. And I know it's him because I follow him yeah. and he wants to to have a look at the planes down there for him to put on his blog. What blog? Um, Facebook, uh, yeah, 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 like a video, like a video. video yeah. It's really high up the hill. You can see terminal and uh, among the tree lines. Beautiful view. So uh, ancestry you have? Um, half local and half Malaysian. Oh, is that so? Yeah, my mother's Malaysian. Do you ever see Seychelles? Do you ever see Seychelles? Yes, I do. I I love it. I love it. You Come, love it. Uh, carry on. Do you you love people speaking foreign language, yeah, don't I do, you? I do. Yeah. yeah. But this airport was not here. Seventies, this was. Right? It was not here. This airport. We 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 travel. We go. We went to to the army by by ship from Seychelles, by Simon. ship to Mombasa, and from Mombasa, we take the train to go to Nairobi. From Nairobi, we took the plane. It was not British Airways. It was. B O A C, correct? Meeting you, yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah lovely you. story. All right. All right. Woo! <laughs> thank you very much. Nice. Thank you. See what I'm doing? I'm editing <laughs> my flight from uh, Praline. Look at this. Yeah, this is the way to do work. Such a beautiful upgrade. And they told me this is the last room available. I'm only staying here one night. Now I'm hating myself. Why don't I stay longer? This is that magic time of the day. I truly enjoy my stay here. I can see why people love Seychelles. 